Hi guys, so look at this question here. This question says that part of x is constant and rest of x varies directly with y. When x is equal to 12, y equal to 8 and when x is 36, y is 48. For what value of x will y also be the same numeric value as x? Fine. So basically, uh, first of all, uh, this language is a bit tricky. So get uh, used to this language here. Okay, so part of x is constant and the rest of x varies directly with y. That means x is basically uh, comprises two parts here. Okay, so it comprises two parts here. The first part is what? x is part constant. So let's say that constant part is a. Okay, so that constant part is a. And let's say the other part is varying directly with y. So when something is varying directly at y, so I can replace with some constant b and I can write by here. So x is equal to a plus by. So this, so I can say that this part of x is uh, very, uh, is uh, constant, a is constant and the other part of x is varying directly with y. So this is the equation here, x is equal to a plus by. Now, obviously I can uh, uh, solve these two equations quite easily here, okay and uh, get the value of k so i can let's look at so i just tell i tell you two methods here guys okay two good methods to understand actually the first method will be method one so i can write here when x is equal to a plus b y so it's simple algebra so i can say that let's put uh, when x is 12 y equal to 8 so 12 is equal to uh, a plus 8 y so you write 12 sorry 8 uh, y is 8. so 8 12 plus 8 b right so I can write 12 is equal to uh, a plus 8b, first equation. And then when x is 36, so I can put 36 here. So 36 is equal to a plus 48b because y is 48. Now this is my second equation here. So I can just solve these two equations, okay, uh, for a and b. So I'll just, I can just uh, subtract these two equations. So I'll get the value of b as this is minus 24 and is minus 40. So B will come out, uh, B will be 3 by 5, yes. And if I put B 3 by 5, 24 by 5. So 12 minus 24 by 5 will be, so X, A, A will be 36 by 5 here, fine. Okay, that's correct. So now, uh, so I can just say that, so I can write the equation as now, X is equal to uh, 36 by 5 plus uh, B Y, that is 3 by 5 Y. And because uh, x will should be numerical, uh, x numeric value, uh, y numeric value will be same as x. So I can simply replace x with y. So I can write y is equal to 36 by 5 plus 3 by 5 y. And if I solve for y here, so I will get uh, 3 by here. So I'll get y equal to 18. Okay, so that's one way to look at this equation, right? So, uh, and because x, uh, both x and y have got same numeric value, so obviously, x also will be equal to 18 correct this is method one okay now so one good method to learn here is uh, again that variation approach here okay so for which we see variation questions as uh, directly proportional indirectly proportional like, like that right for example i can say that uh, x in first case x is equal to 12 and y is equal to 8 in second case x is 36 and y is 48 so what you can see is say here guys, you can see here, there's a 24 value increase in X. X has become from 12 to 36 and Y value has become from 8 to 48. So Y has increased by 40 here. Okay. So there's a, a change of, uh, yes, 12 and uh, 36, correct. So there's a change of 12 and uh, 12 to 36 is 24 and this is 40. Okay. So now, now what, what you can say here is basically that now increase of 24 in x causes a uh, increase of 40 in y okay so you can see that the ratio this increase ratio this increase ratio is uh, 3 is to 5 right so increase ratio is 3 is to 5 why 3 is to 5 because 24 by 40 is something 3 by 5 okay so increase ratio is 3 is to 5 now obviously uh, we can see here that now x that means if x will increase by 3k y will increase by 5k correct right ratio 3 is to increase ratio of x is to y is 3 is to 5 that means if x will increase by 3k ah, then y will increase by 5k i can say this point here okay and i can say here that now the difference between x and y is 4 
okay the difference between x and y is 4 okay so that means i can say that 5k minus 3k is equal to 4 therefore k is equal to 2 okay therefore k is equal to 2 correct so obviously so i'll just increase that increase of 3k and 5k so increase is always uh, with respect to the initial value so i can say that uh, 12 this increase of 8 here corresponds to 3k and 5k okay because i've seen seen the change from 12 to 36 and 8 to 48 so i'll see change here okay so that increase of uh, 4 okay that will be uh, 5k minus 3k equal to 4 so k is 2 so now i can say that now this 3k here so i can say that when x will if i put k2 here guys i can say that when x will increase by 6 then y will increase by 10 so when x will increase by 6 then y will increase by 10 that means x is 12 so x new value is what 12 and then 6 increase that becomes 18 and y uh, new value is what y is 8 y increase by 10 so 8 plus 10 18 so again a good way to think right a good way to think such kind of questions okay so learn this uh, method 2 is preferable is faster okay and it's more logical okay so just learn this method okay yeah okay and this is the uh, very nice uh, test event guys so i always keep telling about this combat okay all of you should give this combat a uh, really very very uh, uh, important and uh, new questions are in there so it's, it's very important that before cat you give so many small tests right so one of these tests we have it happens every sunday 12 pm you'll get some new questions in quant 10 new questions in quant okay 10 new questions in L lrdi similarly in verbal so and this is a live event also so basically after every uh, question you answer there's a live scorecard going on so it's a fun also right it's a fun good good competition plus adding this good questions to your question bank so in every every sunday you're getting some 10 new questions in in, in this combat right okay so in in, in around 10 10 combats it you can get 100 new questions of quant okay same 100 new questions of lrdi so we have this all this tests and solutions with with practice right with live grilling of your mind it's very very important so do this this give this combat all of you it's a free event completely free okay and uh, you can just put the invite code it will ask you just put the invite code ravi rodha okay and then you can just give this event and uh, give this test discuss with me uh, in my telegram group what's the problem what's the shortcoming we'll discuss about this okay so just give this test on this sunday 12 pm okay I'll put the enrollment link in the description. Thank you.